in this next one, they're, they're giving us the equation. And they're asking us to kind of analyze it. They say A equals 21,000 times 1 minus 0 0.12 to the t power. And before I even read any further, I'm going to simplify this because 1 minus 0 0.12, that's just 0 0.88. I just think of 100 minus 12 is 88. Same idea. So when this number is a fraction, right, this is called exponential decay. Uh, it just means that when you multiply by this fraction, right, if you multiply 21,000 by this fraction over and over again, you're reducing the size of the object because you're multiplying by a fraction. Um, as long as 21,000, of course, itself is a positive number. Um, so, sorry, so um, let's look at this as an example. Before we get into the answer as well, let's just see what's happening. So if t is equal to, say, 1, right, it would be 21,000 times 0.88 to the 1, which is just 0.88. So times 0.88, we get 18,488. Now, if we want to figure out what this is as a percent of the original, we can do that number, so hit second, answer, divided by 21,000, right? It's, of course, what is it? Well, it's 88% of the original. So we lost 12%, right? If we took 21,000 and we multiplied it by 12%, 0 0.12, that's 2,520. If we take 21,000 and subtract 2,520, we get 18,480, which is our new value. So each time, right, we're taking 88% of what we had before. But we that means if you have 88% of what you had to begin with, you've lost 12%. Think of the example if you have $100, and I say take 88% of that. Well, to do that, you multiply it by 0.88, and you get what? Well, $88. Well, you had 100, now you have 88, you lost 12 out of 100, or 12%. The same idea right here, just we're dealing with exponents. So if t is, is a larger number, like 3, you'd have 21,000 times 0.88 three times, right? And that would just mean you lost 12%, and then another 12% of that, and then 12% of the new total, and so forth. So using 12% of 12% of 12%. So this is called exponential decay. We're losing value at a rate of 12%, right, for each period, especially with the wording they give us. Um, they first of all say is it exponential growth or decay so again we're multiplying by a fraction it's decay and the rate of change right that means how much did your percent how much did your value go up or down by if it was how what is the what is the um, result as a percent of the original then you say 88 percent because it's 88 percent of the value before it right you have 21,000 then you have 18,480 which is 88 percent of the beginning cost, but you look at the change of percent, you add or subtract an amount.